Welcome to Life Talks with Stephen Marshall. Never alone. Feelings can be tricky. Have you ever been in a crowd of people and felt alone? You probably have. I know I have. Or have you ever been out with a small group, like two or three people, but felt more alone than if you actually were by yourself? It's a pretty awful feeling, and yet we just proved my point. Feelings can be tricky. In both cases, you weren't alone, but you sure felt alone. There was a great prophet in the Bible whose name was Elijah. He's famous today, but he was pretty well known even in his day. He had accomplished some great things. Let's put it this way. In the world of prophet duties and success, he had basically knocked the ball out of the park. Yet with all of his God victories, he felt alone, even forsaken. In 1 Kings 19, Elijah is on the run from Queen Jezebel, and yes, she is as wicked and mean as she sounds. Elijah gets out in a remote place in the desert, and he feels alone. You might say, come on, Stephen, this is a case when his feelings are right on. He is alone. Is he really? He just so happened upon a white broom tree, which is perfect for shade, and its soft leaves would have made such a comfortable bed for him. If the tree was in bloom, there would have been thousands of soft blooms providing a soothing scent to refresh him. While he slept, God sent an angel who touched him and said, Arise and eat. The angel had made a fire, bread was already baked, and there was a bottle of water there. I believe that was the beginning of the bottled water industry. God arranged that meal delivery twice for Elijah. So was he really alone? Still, Elijah struggled with his deep depression. God spoke to him and he responded by saying, Oh, I'm so glad you're here with me, God. No, that's not true. When God spoke to Elijah, he instantly went into a complaining and lamenting rant. He said, I've been all about you, God, and nothing's worked out right. Everyone in my country has turned their back on you. They've killed all the prophets like me, and I'm completely alone. God answers Elijah and says this, I still have 7,000 who are loyal to me in this country. You may feel alone, but the truth is you're not alone. Feelings are a weak compass to live by. If you've received Jesus as your Savior, your family connection to God is unbreakable. Listen to Hebrews 13, 5. For God himself has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down, relax my heart. Hold on you? Assuredly not. What an amazing promise. Psalm 139 asks, Where can I run from your presence, God? If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall your hand lead me and your right hand shall hold me. You are being watched over like you are the most valuable, high worth relationship God the Father has. You may feel alone, but in Christ, you are never, ever alone. You're watched over, cared for, connected, directed, and protected. Just like Elijah, though, you have choices. You can eat the supply of bread and drink the water or choose not to. You can rest on the bed of scented soft leaves or lay on the hard rocky ground. You can believe your feelings and facts or you can believe God's truth. You can go your own way and have God ask you like he did to Elijah, what are you doing here? Or you can go the way his hand leads. But after it's all said and done, you are never alone. Let's pray the word. God, forgive us for ever thinking you would leave us alone. You've promised to never leave us or forsake us. We choose to believe you over our feelings. We choose to believe your word over our circumstances. You told us in 2 Corinthians 5, 7 to walk by faith and not by sight or feelings. Help us, Holy Spirit, to do that. It's tempting to live according to our feelings, but Jesus, you have overcome all temptation with the word, and so we will with your help. We're not alone, and you will never, never, ever leave us or forsake us. Praise God in Jesus' name. Amen. My friend, you are loved and cared for. If you'd like one of our ministers to pray with you over the phone or for something specific in your life, please reach out to us at the number on our website, allnationschurch.ca, or by the email contact there. God bless you.